Hello everyone, it's the Batman Statue Collector and I am finally back with my updated room tour. It's been forever and this room tour is in memory of Captain Joe. Um, Joe had been asking me for months to do this room tour and I never got around to it. So Joe, wherever you are, I hope you're able to watch this and this one is for you. So I, I haven't really shown you this before really. This is the stairs that go up to the Batcave itself. Now as we go up, uh, I want you to notice I do have this gate here. This is for um, pets and also to keep my kids out. They're really good about staying out of it anyway, but I really just want to keep the, the pets out. So as you pan up in this particular space, you're going to notice an over six foot tall fat head. And of course, this is the uh, David Finch cover Probably my favorite Batman cover ever. I absolutely love this print and it's six feet. <laughs> I just want to give you an idea. I'm going to kind of pan up here and show you how big this space is. It's massive, um, but this is what you see when you come up to the Batcave. So anyway, you're going to come up the landing here and there's a second landing. <clears throat> now this is uh, an area where I might end up putting a pedestal and a piece right here in this corner. So as you turn around, you'll still have a little bit of space there, you know, or even maybe a space here as well. But anyway, again, there's that massive print. So awesome, I love this thing. I'm so glad I got it. <laughs> but man, it is big, very big print. So as we turn the corner, this is my uh, art gallery, really. Uh, it is a work in progress. I do have more things that I'm getting framed as we speak to fill up this wall probably the wall behind me as well we'll just kind of wait and see but uh, here we have of course uh, this i just picked up this last uh, march and of course this is signed by greg capullo scott snyder it was an event exclusive print uh, very limited uh, and this one was 12 of 25 not very many made uh, i'm really glad i picked that up i love the torn edges on it i just think it looks really cool and then uh, this is a new print that I just had framed. Uh, of course, this is the Alex Ross print. I'm sorry about the glare, but uh, a massive piece. Really cool. I'm so happy with the way it turned out. And then, of course, we have one final piece up there. I'll show you that here in a second. Uh, I also wanted to show you this is what uh, controls everything. Uh, this is my light switch. So uh, whenever I first come up into the Batcave, uh, I click that and... Uh, that's what I do to turn everything on and off, so pretty cool. <clears throat> so as I go up to the cave, this is what I see when I go up the stairs. So we'll get to that in just a second here. Uh, I do want to show you this final print, and this of course is Neil Adams. Uh, again, one of my favorite covers of all time. It's a little different than the actual cover. Uh, the print uh, is still amazing though. And here you can see to Chris from Neil Adams. I'm really glad I got to meet him a couple of times. Just, just the thrill of a lifetime to meet some of these artists. So really cool. So here is my Dark Knight display. Uh, it has changed a little bit over the last year. Uh, it is still a work in progress, um, but I do want to show you what I have. Uh, I did finally update uh, my mask display. Uh, it had been not unfinished for a really long time. I finished my cabinet here. And uh, I've done a review on these masks, so check the channel out if you haven't seen these. But uh, I absolutely love them. Uh, I did a... Um, camera update here uh, excuse me a cabinet update and I did the lights and everything just like the other cabinets and I'm really happy with the way it turned out I even have some I believe in Harvey Dent buttons I have some other props too like grenades and things I haven't decided if I'm gonna add those or not or just kind of keep it simplistic like it is here I think it looks really nice now uh, as we pan up you're gonna notice of course one of my favorite pieces the half scale Heath Ledger Joker uh, this of course is from Prime One um, he looks a little darker on here uh, it's lit better in real life but again I'm really happy with this piece uh, I've chosen to have him displayed with the knife and the cards and you notice the cards uh, behind him you notice the cards here on the base these, of course, are all from that prop deck. Uh, I reviewed that as well. Um, I'm not exactly sure if I love this look or not um, with the cards behind him. I just really wanted to display them because uh, I love the cards, but I don't know. Again, I just don't know if it's exactly what I want, 
but uh, it's what I'm going with right now. And then of course there is the uh, framed, actually it's not framed, it's canvas, um, full size movie poster of Heath Ledger's Joker. And again, there's quite a bit of space right here uh, for either a larger shelf, uh, if Prime One ever releases the Bale half scale, not sure if I'll get it, um, but I, I do have room regardless here of you know whether I get it or not but this is basically what that space looks like here and then if you spin around this is uh, the entrance into the bat cave and then as we look back this way this is what it looks like going back down those stairs again you really get a feel for the size of this stairwell really quite massive um, but again I think that Eventually, this wall will probably have art prints as well once I get this one all filled up. So, anyway, that's that. Let's go into the back cave. So, here we go. Here is the updated cave. Kind of give you kind of a panoramic look here. Uh, I'm going to show you parts of the cave I've never really shown you before. So, uh, we'll start over here. Uh, this is my uh, new chair, recliner. Um, this is the way I view the bat cave, and I'll show you what that looks like here in just a second. Uh, over here on this wall, I do have a batarang uh, into the wall, which is kind of cool. And then I have, of course, my Kevin Conroy um, to Chris. I am Batman autographed print. Uh, I love this thing. Uh, it means a lot to me that I finally got to meet him. Uh, he is Batman, so it's just awesome. Uh, I also have a couple of my press passes that I've been able to do and my uh, Dark Knight Metal um, event lanyard signed by Scott Snyder and Greg Capullo. Um, it's just awesome. I'm so glad I got to meet them. So basically that's what that looks like. And I'll kind of give you kind of a shot here of that angle. Again, stuff I'm not, I'm not normally showing you guys, but I do want to cover all of it here. <clears throat> so here is the chair. And I kind of want to give you a look of what it looks like to sit in this chair. I'm going to sit down here and I'll kind of show you um, what everything looks like here. From my, advantage, or my point of view, I guess. Um, so anyway, it's not ideal to be in the corner. I wish I could be in the middle somewhere. Um, but it's really nice to have a chair like this uh, to be able to look and see what's going on. So over here, uh, I have my comic collection. And uh, it is not extensive uh, compared to a lot of people's. So I do kind of want to show you uh, some of the books that I have. Um, these are probably my favorites on this particular part. Um, you know, anything from The Killing Joke to... Um, you know, The Long Halloween, which is my favorite book. Um, some of the new uh, Batman books that are currently out. Um, Court of Owls, Hush, you know, all the different ones. Year One, all the must-have books. And then these over here are basically ones that I have not read yet. So I've got a lot to read. There, there's a couple of them in there that I have, um, but uh, uh, these are all ones that I have to catch up on. Um, these up here are my big ones here. I've got a uh, Batman visual history, absolute Batman, the long Halloween, of course, the absolute uh, hush and the absolute court of owls. Um, and then of course I do have the uh, Batman noir and the Batman uh, by Brian Azzarello. Uh, I got that book autographed and I'm really happy that, that I did cause it's an absolutely amazing book. Uh, just again, overall really happy with this particular collection. I know I have a lot more to go, um, but uh, I just these are my favorite books and books that I still need to read. So I've got more shelf space down there for when that happens. Okay, so let me come over here. I'm going to kind of show you kind of a wide angle of this side of the room. Uh, this is definitely my work in progress side, and I'm going to kind of go over that with you guys. <clears throat> First of all, I want to show you this is my newest piece, and you probably just watched my review video on her. Uh, overall, I'm incredibly pleased with her. I think she looks really good. I think she looks even better in this light. Uh, I like her with a little bit of shadow. I feel like if she was in full daylight, 
kind of washes her out a little bit uh, but in this particular light i'm just incredibly pleased with how she looks um, and you know just, she really pops in this room looks really good uh, much better in person than in camera so if you like her right now on camera you're going to love her in real life it looks really good um, so this particular space i've got the the heads down here also uh, i have the uh, third head or the fourth head downstairs i forgot to bring her up but uh, you also see I do have that um, Batarang prop, um, a really great piece. Um, and the reason why I have this here <clears throat> is my current plan is to have the um, Justice League Ben Affleck on Gargoyle here. Uh, I've really been struggling with what pieces to get for my cave because of my limited space. But right now, that is the plan, is to have her... And then also that Ben Affleck Batman. Um, I do also have the Prime One um, Dark Knight, um, Dark Knight Rises. Sorry, uh, Dark Knight Rises Catwoman. I also have her on pre-order. I want to get the Bane and the Batman as well. Um, but again, where do I put them? That's the really big issue. But right now, this is scheduled to be Batman and Harley here. Now over here, uh, this area is um, kind of the unknown. Um, this area right here is kind of what is going to be coming up in the future with my pre-orders. Now I do have Batman Hush on pre-order. I've got Batman uh, Poison Ivy on pre-order. Superman on pre-order and probably Huntress as well. Uh, I also then of course have that has that brand new Batman who laughs. So I've got a kind of a problem. <laughs> I'm really loving the comic book stuff right now and so a lot of the comic book things are probably going to go on this wall. Um, and But I just don't know for sure. I will be able to fit at least two pieces on this particular one and uh, that'll at least be the Hush and the um, the Ivy. Of course, I also want that Dark Knight Returns 3. Um, that is an epic piece. So again, I have some tough decisions to make here in the future. Uh, I did build this individual podium. <clears throat> um, this was something I built a while ago. I just wanted to see if I could space it out. Like if I put one there, I could put one there as well. Kind of do it for individualized pieces. Like the Batman Who Laughs is going to be an individualized piece. Um, so it can go on something like that and be separated. Uh, this Joker I'm currently selling. Um, I sold the uh, Dark Knight Batman already. Um, so if you're interested in that Joker, it is available. Um, I'm just uh, moving up in scale. I like the one-third, so that's kind of what I'm sticking with. But this is a phenomenal piece. And this is, of course, the exclusive that does have that uh, grenade switch, that bomb switch, which is really cool. So anyway, moving on. <clears throat> You've seen this one before. Uh, this, of course, is the Batman Noel. Uh, a very, very, I just love this piece in my collection. Um, I, you know, I want to be able to keep him. Um, but if Prime One doesn't make the uh, Joker that goes with him, uh, he might be on the chopping block and I might replace him uh, with another piece. Because uh, I really want the Joker to go with him, but I don't know if, uh, if Prime One will be making that one. Um, but this piece is absolutely phenomenal. It's just, this screams Batman to me. And again, it's just taken directly from the pages of Batman Noel. If you have not read this book, please do yourself a favor. Uh, I grew up with The Christmas Carol as my mom's favorite book uh, of all time. So I'm very familiar with that story. And that's what this story is based on. So really good read. Uh, again, just a phenomenal statue. I love this thing. Uh, and then, of course, we have... Batman, a couple other heads, just looks so good. All right, so moving right along, we of course have a piece that is loved by many, and that of course is the Joker. Uh, this guy is not going anywhere. Uh, he is phenomenal. I love him. Uh, it took me a long time to love him, I'll tell you that, before I bought him, because I, I felt like uh, they could have maybe done a little bit better job on him, especially with the chin. I wish they would have made it a little longer. But uh, the longer I have it, I'm just so happy that I do because it's a phenomenal piece. Uh, I wish Sideshow would make more of these uh, full-scale full scale busts because, man, they are just absolutely fantastic. I love them. I'd love, especially like a Two-Face. How great would that be? All right, so now I'm going to scoot back and show you the uh, comic collection. So I love this collection. It is absolutely a favorite in my entire room. Um, 
but Sideshow kind of changed directions on me. Um, you know, they're kind of going with a whole new art design, and they are great. They're fantastic, but I, I don't love them as much as this line. Um, and I wish that they would keep making this particular look of statues because I just think that they're so well done. So I'm kind of at a crossroads with this collection because there's so many new one-third scale pieces that I'm loving that uh, I'm considering letting this collection go, or at least a certain number of them. I'll probably keep probably three for sure. If I keep them, I'm going to keep at least Joker. I'm going to probably keep Bane and probably Batman. Um, the other ones maybe possibly might go. I'm just not sure, and I'm not sure where I'd put them if I did move them. Um, you know, this particular space, as we see Batman over there, um, you know, if I had one-third scale pieces um, there where that is, it would all still work together really nicely, and it would probably then, it, you know, of course, free up some of the room over here. But anyway, um, I love these pieces. They are phenomenal, and I love this display. Um, if you have been watching my channel for a while, you've seen all of these characters and all of their glory. Just, they're all phenomenal. Sideshow, uh, just nailed them all out of the park. Again, sorry for the focus issues here. Um, just every single one of them looks great. And again, I just wish that they would have kept going with this line. Uh, the one that I am really excited about uh, seeing what it looks like is the Mr. Freeze. Uh, that will be a premium format as well. Um, but it, you know, it will be going with that new design look, I'm assuming. But maybe I could fit him in still. Um, because again, I would love a Mr. Freeze. I would love a Scarecrow. I would love a Two-Face. Um, just all of those characters that I can't believe they haven't done yet. Um, because to me, they're just they're some of the best in the rogues gallery. So, um, you know, maybe they just don't have the license for those characters. I don't know. But uh, again, just all of these things are absolutely fantastic. If you have a chance to collect this line, uh, again, I'm I, I'm somebody that wants to complete a line, and uh, it's it's difficult when a company says that they're not going to finish it. Um, but uh, this line has just been so impressive and I get why you wouldn't want to necessarily do you know a thousand of the same characters um, but you know this 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 line has just been fantastic this Bane if you guys have ever been on the fence about this guy this is one of the best pieces Sideshow has ever created it is massive and it is so incredibly impressive this is what Bane should look like um, he just looks great so again I'm gonna kinda step back kinda show you what that part of it looks like I do think that Batgirl is new since the last time I showed you guys things. Um, and I also did have a Zantana, um, but I ended up selling her because um, she just wasn't a character that I know that well. Um, I just kind of wanted to buy something to buy something at that moment. Um, but she is absolutely fantastic. So I would also recommend her too because she was just so well done. Uh, incredibly sexy just looks great so do not hesitate if you have a chance to buy any of those pieces go ahead and do it uh, this right here uh, from now on when I see this piece I'm gonna think of Captain Joe because uh, this was his favorite piece he always really wanted that Joker as well um, but that Joker is incredibly expensive to find um, but this piece is I, I'm gonna go on a limb and say this is my favorite piece in my collection um, it screams Batman, and if I had to get rid of all of my my, my entire collection, um, this is the one piece that I would probably keep because I just love it. I love it. I have an emotional connection to this piece, and uh, it took me a long time to find it. Um, I found a lot of the light blue ones, um, but this is Batman to me, and I love it. So uh, let's go ahead and move on now to the Arkham Knight uh, or the Arkham Collection from Prime One Studio. I'm going to give you kind of a quick pan here, and then I'll go back and show you all of them. But the collection has grown <laughs> tremendously, and I'm going to kind of give you a wide angle view here. Uh, I still have five pieces to go, and I'll talk about that here in just a second. But let me go ahead and get started <clears throat> with uh, Deathstroke. Uh, you've seen him before as well. Uh, looks phenomenal. Uh, I love this piece. I also really like the comic book piece that they just premiered uh, not too long ago at Wonderfest. A really phenomenal piece overall. Really happy with him. 
here again if you can get one of these guys it's definitely worth it now since my last tour <clears throat> I did have the uh, the Venom Bane this of course is the Mercenary Bane and uh, I did make a trade uh, with uh, a friend of mine named Jason Stillwell uh, we uh, met halfway and uh, we made the trade um, hopefully he got the better end of the deal um, because he did have the harder to find one um, but uh, I am really happy with this one. Um, he is by far not my favorite in my collection, but uh, I do like him better than the, than the Venom version uh, just because I feel like he's cool, calm, calculated. A little bit more of a museum pose like the rest of the line, and uh, I'm just really, really happy that I have him. Um, again, he's not my favorite, but uh, I am, again, very happy to have him in my collection. So here you have an empty space for another one. This, of course, is the um, Arkham Knight, uh, one of my favorites in my collection. Um, just phenomenal. <laughs> it's just, it was the second Prime One piece that I got, uh, and it still holds up. I think it's actually better than some of the newer pieces. Um, I just absolutely love him. I think he's absolutely phenomenal. So cool. Um, so this is my new area, my new display. Um, you can see I built a new, a shorter shelf so I can fit more things in front. Uh, I was not planning on getting the heroes, but there they are. And so, first one, of course, is Nightwing. You saw my review on him, and uh, that's where he sits right here. And then, of course, we have Robin in the middle. I'll show you him up close. Hopefully, we can keep them all in focus. And then, of course, we have Batgirl here. <coughs> uh, I may end up raising these guys up a little bit just so they look a little bit taller um, but I do want to kind of step back here and show you what that view looks like looks really good <clears throat> up top I do have two more spaces there and there uh, my current plan is uh, well I'll show you Batman here my current plan is to put a Joker up top and also the Joker and so I'll show you where I have those in mind Again, here's Harley Quinn, one of my absolute favorites in my collection. If you guys don't have her, man, you are missing out big time. Whew, she is fantastic. And just one of my favorite versions of the character. I, I really like this look in Arkham Knight. I really liked Arkham City, too. Um, so my plan right now is to have on, uh, right next to Harley, I'll have the Joker from Arkham Knight. Uh, I did cancel my um, Arkham City Joker um, with the delay, um, but Arkham Knight is the one I wanted anyway. Uh, and then I'm going to have uh, Catwoman up here on that it's that side of it. So Catwoman and Batman, Joker and Harley. Uh, hopefully that'll look really good. And then as we pan over here, I also have another one of my favorites in my collection. Uh, this is my wife's favorite uh, in the entire collection, Two-Face. Uh, what a weird one for her to like, huh? But she loves this one. By far her favorite. Again, phenomenal piece. He's harder to find. Um, if you have a chance to find him, definitely go and uh, pick him up because he... I mean, they just don't make Two-Face. Uh, Sideshow doesn't make him. I've never seen another company really make him, um, you know, except for, like, maybe the Iron Studios little tiny one. But just, man, he looks phenomenal. <laughs> and then, of course, we have Azrael. Um, a lot of people have gone back to try to find him. He's really hard to find right now. Um, really glad I have him in my collection because he just is just full of detail. Really great piece. Uh, and so I still have these two spaces here. Now, I do have five on pre-order, uh, so let me kind of show you where those are going to go. So I do have Killer Croc, who is larger than that Bane over there. I've got Scarecrow. Those are my next two. I have the Joker and um, Catwoman, like I mentioned. Uh, and then I also have Mr. Freeze. So that's going to take the five spots up. This is going to completely fill up the collection. Um, you know, it, it absolutely will. Uh, and so this, again, let me kind of show you from another angle, kind of show you the entire Arkham collection. I am one of the few people in the world that have uh, just about every piece, um, but just a really cool collection. I'll kind of show you again my angle, just so you guys can see it, kind of what I see. Really cool stuff. I can't wait to, the, the five that I'm getting next are my five most anticipated. Um, I just cannot wait, so really excited. Um, let me show you this area here. 
the back side. Uh, this is my um, my glass display and I don't have it lit yet. Uh, it's definitely a work in progress here. Um, but I do have my bat signal up top. Uh, I do have my Kotobukiya Joker Killing Joke. My original uh, Killing Joke which is back there. This is the one that the, the first edition um, when it first came out. I've still got the sticker on the front. Um, but I've had it all these years and it's, it's still in really amazing shape. And of course I have the Cryptozoic Joker Hand. I'll be doing a Cryptozoic uh, review here real shortly. My Joker card. And uh, a lot of these, this stuff might be moved down to the next shelf uh, because of course I do have that Tweeter Head Joker coming. Uh, it actually might end up going up top here, I'm not sure. Um, but uh, I cannot wait to get that tweeter head joker in. Looks phenomenal. Uh, and then on this level here, uh, get down on one knee here, uh, I do have my uh, Collectorverse uh, Golden Collector Awards. Uh, I'm very proud of those. Um, I don't know if they're going to do that again this coming next year, but I'm really glad to have those you know, in my collection. And uh, again, those just mean a lot to me because you guys voted, so thank you. Um, and of course we have the Funko Pop. Again, that was just something, again, autographed by Kevin Conroy. Uh, I was going to give that away in one of my giveaways, uh, but I forgot to tell him, don't sign it to Chris. It was just going to be Kevin Conroy, but now that it says to Chris, I'm going to keep it, so whatever. All right, so <clears throat> that is what this all looks like. Again, I'm going to give you a quick pan of what the room looks like. Uh, and now I'm going to give you my top secret thing that I haven't really talked much about. Uh, I am a large Pirates of the Caribbean fan. I probably like those movies even better than Batman. Um, really love them. So I am creating a space, or I've created a space, and it's basically in my closet. Because um, it's the only space that I have. But it is a work in progress. And uh, again, that's going to be a crate down there. I'm going to try to get a few more barrels. Um, I've got some really cool um, electronic lights, uh, same candles they use in the Haunted Mansion at Disney. Um, really cool, they're LED remote control. I've got a full size oak barrel, and right now <clears throat> I have uh, my Captain Jack Sparrow from Sideshow Collectibles uh, on top of that barrel. Um, I also have, you can see all my boxes back there, this has been my uh, storage. Um, I also have that item, I'm gonna prop that up. That actually is one of the, this is actually a movie prop from the third Pirates movie uh, on the Empress. Um, and that was one of the shields. Um, and I got it directly from Disney uh, through an auction, so I actually have that real movie prop. I'm going to probably prop it up so it's in front of those boxes and probably put some sort of sheet or something behind that so you don't see it. But <clears throat> basically that Jack Sparrow is a placeholder. Uh, I am uh, getting an item in. Um, it is rather large. It's going to fill up that entire barrel and come up to probably about here. Um, I can't really talk about it right now. Uh, hopefully when it's available I will be able to talk about it. But uh, I am... Um, building this collection just for that one piece. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll keep the Jack Sparrow at that point, but I really wanted to have him back in my collection. Uh, this was the very first piece I ever bought from Sideshow Collectibles. Uh, and when I got into Batman, um, I sold him. And I just kind of wanted him back, and I'm really glad I did because he is a phenomenal piece. Um, got him for real cheap, so uh, it was definitely worth it to me. Um, just really cool. So I kind of want to zoom back here again show you what that looks like. Uh, again, it's just a closet off to the side, but uh, that's going to be my Pirates of the Caribbean collection. I didn't really show you this up close, but that's the Master Replica's Dead Man's Chest. So if you're familiar with Pirates, that's Davy, jo Davy Jones's chest. That might give you a clue as to what I'm going to be putting on top. Uh, again, that's all I'm really going to say about it, but uh, I am just really happy with what's coming. So anyway, so you come around here again. This is the Joker. And as you enter the back cave, this is the updated room. <clears throat> it's constantly changing. Um, I'm constantly stressing out about which pieces to get. Um, I'm really right now liking the comic book stuff um, that Prime One is putting out. Um, and so I don't know exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, eventually, I'd love to have all of these pieces. Um, if I have to let some of these pieces go, I've thought about... 
uh, possibly dwindling it down, maybe like getting, uh, you know, selling five of them or so. Uh, these three right here uh, would be my first to go. Um, I love them, but uh, the heroes are always secondary to me. I always really prefer the villains, which was my original plan to begin with. Um, but, you know, when it comes down to space, and especially when it comes down to money, these are really expensive, you know, at $900 each. Um, I might have to use those funds for something else. But, again, I, I might pare this collection down. I want to get um, all the pieces in first, just so I have them all, and I could say that I have them all, and I want to see what they look like all together. Of course, that might change my mind when I get, uh, you know, Joker in, when I get Catwoman in, Freeze. Um, all these characters are really great. But they're not my favorite characters. My favorite characters um, are Two-Face Harley, Joker, Catwoman, Mr. Freeze. So all of those that I'm really looking forward to. Oh, and Scarecrow. God, I've wanted a Scarecrow forever. Uh, Sideshow, why have you not made a side? Why have you not made a Scarecrow? I just don't understand. Um, but uh, that's kind of the way I'm thinking right now. Um, again, I've got room over here. Um, you know, Noel might be on the chopping block, uh, depending on space. Uh, again, if they they do that. Uh, Lee Bermejo, uh, Joker, definitely going to keep him. Uh, if not, he might end up going. I might replace him with uh, the Dark Knight uh, Returns. Uh, Joker, of course, like I said, is selling. Uh, this is going to be uh, probably my hush area, unless that area becomes my hush area. Uh, it's quite possible. Um, I just don't know for sure. And then, of course, this is going to be my movies. Um, before I got Harley Quinn, I was really questioning whether or not I'm going to do any movie pieces. But she is so great that I'm probably going to go ahead and keep my Batman pre-order for the Justice League one. Um, because, again, man, she is phenomenal. Of course, she could be a standalone piece, too. You know, I could put her down in the hallway um, going up the stairs in that little space I showed you. I don't know. We'll just kind of wait and see. Um, and then, of course, last but not least, there's my, my movie theater chair. Uh, it's leather, it reclines, uh, it's got a cup holder. Uh, I come up here, um, search Facebook, post things from up here. Um, and then, of course, you know that this is where I film um, most of my statue chats and things. Um, there was my, my tripod right there. I'm just mounting my camera to it. Got a chair, and this is where I do a lot of my stuff. Um, lots of things coming up for um, this channel. I'm really excited about a lot of it. Uh, some of it I've announced, some of it I haven't. Uh, so please stay tuned for everything. Um, I hope that you have enjoyed this uh, tour. Uh, again, I do have some space uh, where I can add things. But uh, as you can see, the cave is definitely starting to get full. And with the pre-orders I have, it's getting really difficult. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this room tour. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, here is the full look at my bat cave. As always, guys, I thank you so very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so, please subscribe. As always, thank you so very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you right here in the Batcave.